Hey everyone, it's Nancy with Stitch Don't Kill My Vibe. I just want to pop in and show you guys how fun, quick, and easy and addicting the uh, Moon Dance pattern by Sincerely Gem Patterns is. It's a notepad holder. It comes in three different sizes. Today I'll be making the junior legal size, which fits a five by eight notepad. It also has a little pen holder and a little pocket. So there's many different ways that you can make these. Um, you can make them out of different materials. I can't stop making them. They're all so fun. So my preference is textured vinyl. For the stabilizer, I use the Dollar Tree cutting mats. I cut the stabilizer a little bit different than the pattern cloths just to accommodate the chopping mats. So at Dollar Tree, you get two of these for a dollar, dollar twenty-five now. And let me show you guys how I cut these down. I also use these for my pattern templates so I can see fussy cut, see exactly where I need to go. So I hope this makes sense. I marked everything off. So when you get one of these, they're 11 by 14. So on the 11 inch side, on the short inch side, I take my six inch ruler and I line it up with the end of here. So six inches in, this will be your first cut right here. Okay, so that's gone. And then you're left with this big piece. I go up five and a half inches from either side and split that down the middle. So these two are ready to go. And then from this leftover piece that you have, I come over a half an inch from the side, cut that off. And then from the bottom to the top, I cut, uh, is it eight and a half inches up or eight inches up, I'm sorry. So your pieces will wind up being five and a half by eight inches. That gets you three pieces per board. So that's two full notebooks excuse me, three full notebooks out of one pack. Now, just to make things super quick and easy, I have already cut out all my pattern pieces. You're gonna need the outer layer of your notebook, two linings, the center lining, and the pocket piece. They also have a card holder if you want. If you want the card holder, just cut that out and you'll stitch that on here. I have already put double-sided tape on the back of most of my pieces. And here is the Dollar Tree cut and that's already cut up. So let me first, you get the slip for the notepad ready. So I've already went by the pattern and marked off the measurement she calls for in there. So right here, we're gonna punch some little holes. And then cut a slit from line to line. So the first step is getting your pocket onto your lining piece. Let me move you over a little bit. You guys might be able to see a little bit better there. So going off the pattern measurements, I'm going to line up this pocket. And this pattern's super quick. It's just like stick and go. There's only a couple lines that you have to sew, all with straight edges. Great beginner project. Right, now that we have the pocket on there, I'm gonna sew right here. I don't back stitch. I pull my threads to the back, tie them, and then burn them.
and I noticed my machine was not threaded correctly, so let's take care of that. I'm surprised those stitches look that good. So I've just stitched the pocket right here. I'm gonna pull on the thread, pull it to the back, pull that loop out. This makes it so much easier. Tie a knot. Just melt those threads a little bit and then I push them in. That's not going anywhere. Now I'm gonna apply double-sided tape to the lining main. And then the other side with the notepad holder You could use clips for this as well. I've been using, I've been finding an excuse to use double-sided tape for everything since I discovered it. And these make the cutest gifts ever. Um, I gave Jesse's, my son's teacher, one for Valentine's Day, the bus driver, just everybody, everybody needs one. My husband, we use a Mario one to write our grocery list on it. it's nice going to the store taking that in you've got the pen right there to cross everything off trying to keep up with all the kids activities right i've already got double-sided tape on the center piece and what i do is i take a three inch three inch ish piece of fold over elastic i pull the double-sided tape off i mark mine about two inches down is where i have my pen holder So I just wrap it around, match that line, and this piece is good to go. So let's get our stabilizers down wherever they ended up, right here, right here. Make sure it's going the right direction. People have also said that they use cardboard for the stabilizer. The pattern calls for Decaville. But I find these work just as good. So on the main piece, I have the measurements marked off per the pattern. I am just staying within those lines. All right, and then our center piece will go down. Line that up. Right, our notepad holder goes on the right hand side. It could go on the left if you wanted to. So you're just making sure everything lines up. Looking pretty good. And then this is the side with our pocket. While using double-sided tape is super messy, like all these little strands everywhere, I don't think uh, I could ever go back to just clips, especially with bag making and vinyl. It makes it so convenient. And from here, my pattern pieces line up pretty good, but just to get that perfect edge, I'm gonna come in and shave just a little bit off of each side before we put it under the machine. Just a little slither. I 
I cut everything out using my rulers, but I believe there's also SEG files for this. You guys have those uh, vinyl cutting machines. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch around the outside. I use an eighth of an inch seam allowance and then come back and stitch the center pieces. When you get to the corner, uh, make sure that needle is down and it's already starting to go back up before you lift your foot and pivot. If you're missing, if you're skipping a, sk a stitch on that corner, it's because your needle, the, the thread hasn't locked, the stitch hasn't locked before you turn. And in the pattern, she recommends putting Decoville on where the slot is, where you're cutting the slot. I only do that if I'm using a lightweight vinyl. I find that the textured vinyl is just fine. Pulling the thread to the back. So we've just went around the outside and now I'm just gonna come and do this rectangle in the center to hold those down. Pull the threads to the back. All right. Let me grab a notepad. I've been getting these off of Amazon. Tried looking for them locally. They were hard to find. The little notepad goes right in here. And the pen. How flipping cute are these? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys make some of the moon dances, please post to the group. I'd love to see them. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye, guys.